Many times when kids are being sexually abused, they don't know it's wrong. And they're having someone tell them that it's not wrong. We see constant stories of people charged with sexually assaulting children. Well, the Children's Advocacy Center says they are getting more reports of abuse here in the upstate. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith has more on what has led to that increase. If walls could talk, the ones at the Children's Advocacy Center could tell stories of children devastated by abuse. Having a little girl ask, am I still a virgin? Is anybody ever going to want to marry me and have children with me after what has happened to me? Executive Director Susie Cole says in 2015 they saw a record number of child abuse referrals and are on track for another record this year. We want them to learn that what happened to them happens to lots of kids. They're going to be okay. They're not damaged. Cole says the increase in numbers doesn't necessarily mean that more children are being abused. What we think it means is that we're, we're doing a better job in this community of reporting abuse to authorities. She says a study revealed thousands of South Carolina professionals felt they did not get adequate training in the past. Our law enforcement folks are better trained in what to look for when they go out to a home that may indicate child abuse. Also, our teachers are better trained than they've ever been before. She also says the passing of Aaron's law is bringing the lesson of sex abuse into the classroom. A law that requires child sexual abuse prevention education in our schools. So all kids K through 12 will have an age appropriate lesson about touching. More referrals, she says, means more opportunities to start helping these kids piece their lives together through therapy. A lot of times you can just see the hope that it, it is coming through in those drawings from being in a really dark place to just a much brighter, more hopeful place. She says the community can come together to help more kids find that hopeful place. In Spartanburg County, Nick L. Smith, 7 News. The Children's Advocacy Center serves Spartanburg, Cherokee, and Union Counties.